Hello, I'm Dan from Safe Signal Mountains Hemlocks. Um, I'm gonna show you how to quickly treat your trees with the soil drench method. For those of you that have maybe 10, 15 trees only, um, this would be the way to go to quickly do them. You can get this uh, six easy steps um, from Pruitt and pick one up. We're gonna go quickly through these six steps. I've got all my stuff lined up right here. Um, all this information comes from Save Georgia's Hemlocks and all the information is from uh, based on the label of Imidacloprid 2F. So the first thing you're going to do is order your Imidacloprid 2F. You can't get it up here on the mountain. Um, this would be 21% uh, Imidacloprid. You can get it from uh, KeystonePestSolutions.com or uh, SolutionsStores.com. And there's other, other locations. The key is uh, it needs to have 21.6% uh, of imidacloprid, and you're looking for imidacloprid 2F. The next thing you're gonna do is take your 48 inch Nalgene bottle, uh, excuse me, 48 ounces, and we're gonna add 11 ounces of the imidacloprid up to, you could draw a line right there, Add 11 ounces of imidacloprid, fill the rest up with water, shake it up. I've already done that and I'm ready to go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is measure my tree. So I have a diameter tape and I'm gonna uh, get the diameter of this tree. And based on that, we're gonna add, uh, add it to the soil uh, at the base. And if you don't have a diameter tape, you can take a regular tape measure and divide it by 3.14. And that will give you the diameter. So I'm going to check the diameter. And this tree is 11 inches of diameter. So now I'm going to go to back to my chart on the back. Uh, 11 inches needs one third ounce per inch. So that's going to be uh, approximately four ounces. So I'm gonna go to my bottle. I'm gonna pour four ounces of this into the bucket. I'm gonna add some water so that we can pour it around kind of evenly. But the four ounces is what's gonna save this tree. And so what you wanna do is prepare your tree. Um, I'm just gonna kick it back and go all around. You can use, um, a forklift, a, a uh, pitchfork to churn up the dirt. You could also use a rebar to make some holes. The deeper it goes into the soil, the better. So however you want to do it. But it is acceptable to churn up the dirt some around it. And then you're just going to take your bucket with the four ounces that you poured into here, add some water, and you're going to go around and pour it around. And then when you're finished, you're gonna take, if you like a, a green can of spray, spray paint for the year 2023, and we're gonna mark this tree so we know we've done it and also we know what year we did it. So here we go. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is on the back of my bottle of imidacloprid, I'm gonna write 20, 28, so 2028, I'm gonna keep that in my garage and that's how I'll know the next time to treat these trees. So if you have any questions, send us a, a message on Save Signal Mountains Hemlocks and uh, we'd be glad to help you and work you through it. Um, if there's heavy vines under here, then you would need to pull them back and, uh, but you wanna go within six to 12 inches of the base and pour this solution around the bottom. So hope you'll treat your trees and uh, be in touch if you need any help. Thank you.